Hello everyone, it's Xenia here and today I'm back to share with you how I created a little fun DIY notebook to basically keep some memories and collateral and fun little things in there. So instead of working on a scrapbook layout, I decided to downsize to a smaller format and I thought the notebook size would be perfect for that. But of course I didn't want to just pick a random notebook and uh, go into it. I wanted to make something beautiful and special, so I decided to make my own. I started with a piece of paper from the Reflection Scrapbook Collection. This is a watercolor background paper. Uh, this collection has a couple of different colors of these kind of papers. I think there is a yellow and a pink, but I just went for blue because I thought it was really pretty. And I am using the Frosted Garden stamp set to stamp a few different floral images on the paper and kind of customize it to be even prettier than it already is. Uh, for my stamping, I used a mix of different shades of blue. Uh, I think this is like a mix of two or three different ink sets. Uh, it's some blues from the Sweet Dreams uh, ink set from the Deep Blue Seas and Cool Summer Night. And these blues are not exactly on the same hue family, but they complement each other beautifully. And I actually really like the variety that they're not exactly on the same scale. So I just moved my paper on different angles to fill most of the area. I didn't want to fill the whole thing back and front because I knew that the back side wouldn't be as much loved as the front. So I basically focused my stamping on the front part of my cover. And this is, I think, where I'm going to stop. Now this is... Um, nine is it i don't remember exactly the dimensions uh, what i basically did to calculate the dimensions is that i pulled some a4 sheets of paper and you see these white pieces of paper there and i basically measured my paper to be that size so i am just um, clipping them together with a binder clip so they are steady and they won't flow around and I'm gonna bind my book. Now you can do your book binding in so many different ways. Uh, you can just use some staples, you can just leave it as is even, but for my notebook I decided to use my handy book binding book, book binding tool that you see here and I am going to do some saddle stitching. I believe it's called saddle stitching to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not great with these terms. So anyway, after I'm poking my holes, I am folding the notebook in half, making sure it's properly um, flat. And I'm gonna move my binder clip to hold all the papers together. Now at this stage, I went back and kind of trimmed the edges a little bit. When you're folding the notebook, there will be always a little bit of extra pieces of paper poking on the sides, so don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. Just get your favorite uh, pair of scissors or craft knife and trim the edges off. I'm just preparing my needle here with some waxed uh, book binding thread. Basically, you can use anything you want. I used to use some normal embroidery thread for a very long time to do my book binding. But this, a, a waxed piece of thread is definitely more handy and more durable for this job. But just don't stress too much if you don't have uh, that in your collection of goodies. So I'm just going back and forth and I would recommend if you want to do some and fancy stitching to search online there are so many different options but as I said I'm just going for some very basic things I'm going from one hole in one hole out and I believe once you do that in both directions that is called a saddle stitch but because I was lazy and I felt that it's not necessary I only went towards uh, one direction 
I just covered the whole spine once and then I tied a knot and called it done. Usually you want to go reach the top and then just go back down with your stitching if you want it to be fully durable and accurate. But really if you're just making a little documenting memory keeping notebook that's not really necessary. It's not that you will be very rough with your notebook. Now to finish it off and kind of add a few more decorations, I picked some embellishments from the Reflection Collection and I really love these rectangles because placing it there in the middle of the page it reminded me of my old school notebooks so I just went for that and I'm also gonna put um, one of these origami bird wood veneer pieces which are lovely and that's that will finish off uh, the page. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed this little DIY craft and I hope to see you again very soon.